Hey guys, Shauna Klein here with Sozo Essentials Wholesale. I'm so glad that you've joined me today. I have a very special video today that I can't wait to get to. I am having AJ the Candle Chef come hang out today and do a demonstration of one of his dessert candles that he makes with our Sozo Essential products. So I hope you guys enjoy it. If you have any questions, make sure that you drop them into the comments below and we'll answer any of them that we can. So without further ado, here's to you, AJ. Hi, Shauna and friends. My name is AJ and I am the Candle Chef and I just wanted to show you guys what you can do with Sozo Essentials waxes, wicks, fragrance, and dyes. In this demonstration, I'm going to be showing you guys how I do a banana split with Sozo Essentials supplies. One of my all-time favorite waxes to use for dessert candles is 6028 Parasol. I'm so glad Sozo Essentials carries it because 70 to 80 percent of my dessert candles I use this wax. For the bottom part of the banana split I fill up about 75 percent of the way with the 6028 wax. For the wicks I like to use an eco series for any wax that has soy in it. In this case I've tested fours, sixes, and eights and I really like the sixes in the banana split. For all of my embeds including the banana house, the ice cream scoops, the cherry, I use 6028 as well. For the colors I really like that Sozo Essentials has designed the dyes with the food candle community in mind. For example the chocolate brown is perfect for the chocolate ice cream and the red uh, plus cranberry is great for strawberry. And I don't use any dye for the bananas and the vanilla. For the gel wax, I like to use a high density gel wax because it sets better. Here in the chocolate syrup, I use chocolate brown and black dye. And as you can see here, oh my goodness. Gel wax looks exactly like Hershey syrup. For this next part of the banana split, I'll be whipping some wax to make it look exactly like whipped cream. Sozo Essentials also carries uh, soy wax, which two of my favorites are 444 Soy Wax and now my new favorite, Lux Soy. Both of these waxes are perfect for whipping and after you whip the wax at a certain temperature, it's perfect for piping onto your banana split. If you guys would like to learn how to make dessert candles, I have very detailed recorded and live classes on my Patreon on how to make dessert candles. I go over a lot of the stuff that you don't see here, which is how to make the silicone molds, how to melt your waxes, what equipment you need, techniques on piping, where to get your supplies, where to get your vessels, how much waxes to use, temperatures, wick testing, pretty much everything you need to know about making dessert candles. If you'd like to know more, you can head out to my Patreon. It's patreon.com, The Candle Chef. Thank you, Shauna, for everything that you do for the dessert candle community. And I absolutely love your products and can't wait to see all the new stuff that you come out with. And like I always say, the only limitation is your imagination. AJ, that was amazing. Thank you so much for sharing with us your amazing talent. We are so excited to be able to bring you new videos and different things that you can do with our Sozo Essentials products. As I mentioned before, if you have any questions or any comments, make sure you drop them below. If you have not subscribed to our channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that uh, bell so that you are alerted anytime that we have a new video. Thanks for joining us and we will see you next time. Have a great day and make something beautiful. <music>